Hello, I'm back, and now I'm going to uh, do a video on another component of my computer, and that is the ALU. So this here is the ALU. Um, it doesn't have any repeaters added to it, um, because I built this ahead of, ahead of time, and I copy-pasted it into the machine, and I added repeaters later. Um, but all the functional parts are there. So, first over here, um, this is a controlled zero. So this is on. Whatever this input is, it doesn't matter. It's going to be zeroed. If this is off, it's going to be propagated through. So this allows you to zero the X input. There's one here for zeroing the Y input, if you so desire. Uh, then here's an XOR gate. And this is a different design of XOR gate uh, that I'm making here, but it achieves the same purpose. And what an XOR gate does is if the inputs are the same, it produces a zero. And if the inputs are different, it produces a one. So if this is your input here, uh, your data, if your data is a zero, your output's a zero. If your data is a one, your output's a one. And then this is a control bit that I added in the ALU. And if this is on, it will invert your data input. Um, which allows for you to invert um, X and invert Y. So this allows for negation. That's what these are. And then the controls are uh, here. And you can see this will invert everything there. And it goes here and it goes into these uh, demultiplexers. And uh, these allow it to choose two paths. Uh, if there's a value coming in here, it'll either go to the right go down, or if I turn this on, it'll ignore that path and it'll head to the left. So that's what a demultiplexer does. And that allows it to choose between adding and anding. So the bottom paths go to these here, which are AND gates, just in a vertical format, which will just AND X and Y together. And these are the adders. Um, this isn't my design, this is Ohm's design for adders, and it's excellent. I haven't seen a better one. Um, so these are what I'm using and uh, this will add X and Y and it's just an XOR gate um, then there's an instant carry line and another uh, XOR gate and there's an AND gate back there and a few other components and this here is an OR gate um, if either one or both of these are on it'll never be both, it'll always be either one then it'll input here and this is another uh, chain of XOR gates and a control here, and this allows you to invert the ALU output. And with these you can code a lot of useful functions. And so that's the ALU of my computer. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. See you next time.